All right, guys, it is Saturday night, and I am so excited, as always, to watch tonight's movie. Put on your pajamas, grab your pillows, and grab your blankets, because tonight is going to be totally awesome. We are watching a movie tonight that I have not seen in a long time. It's a movie from the 80s. Tonight, we are searching for the mighty Bigfoot. I'm talking about this one right here, guys. Harry and the Hendersons. As you can see, I haven't even opened this DVD yet. I ordered it from Amazon. I have not seen this movie in forever. Let's go ahead and rip this open right now. You gotta love a brand new DVD. Literally, the only thing better than having a brand new DVD is when you could go to the video stores and just come home with a stack of movies for the weekend. This is an awesome movie, guys. It takes me right back to the time period of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And although, honestly, it's not as funny as as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It kind of puts me in that mindset because it is an awesome family adventure. Look at this, on the back where it says there's bonus features, it's even shaped like a big foot. <laughs> so to give you a rundown of this movie, I'm just gonna read you what's on the back of the box here. Harry and the Hendersons takes adventure to new heights in this big laughs, big-hearted, big-footed comedy for the whole family. A chance car accident introduces the Hendersons to the real life Bigfoot, who is anything but a ferocious monster, and quickly becomes a true friend to the family. They're soon in a race against the clock to return Harry to his natural environment before the authorities capture him. The fur will fly in this feel-good rump, an Oscar winner for best makeup, the whole family will enjoy again and again. And speaking of the makeup, the guy who plays Harry in this movie actually played the Predator in Predator Part 2. I love little trivia like that. And you know what else? John Lithgow is in this, who also played another one of my favorite characters of all time, Lord <laughs> Farquaad on the Shrek movies. <laughs> now tell me, where are the others? Eat me! So that's what we're watching tonight, guys. Harry and the Hendersons. And our snack is also going to be of epic proportions. Because tonight, we are making Bigfoot Pizza. Do you guys remember Bigfoot Pizza Bigfoot. from back in the day? It wasn't actually shaped like a pizza, but it was a big, wide, long, enormous pizza. Therefore, they called it Bigfoot Pizza. Okay, so making pizza is pretty universal, guys. You need parchment paper, Reynolds wrap, you need a pizza pan, you need some mozzarella cheese, a grater, a bowl, your toppings, and whatever you're gonna be using for your pizza crust. I am making a low carb pizza, so I'm gonna make my crust, believe it or not, out of chicken. But you guys can use whatever crust you want to use. You can even buy one of those pizzas that's already made up in a package that's called like a bobbly or something. And you can simply take some kitchen shears, some scissors, and cut it out in the shape of a foot. And there you go. That's the easy, quick way to do it. And yes, you heard me correctly. We are going to be making our pizza in the shape of a big foot. I'm going to do my best to make it as big as this pan, at least as long as it, so that it comes out in the shape of a giant foot when we're done. Now, if you want the recipe to the crust that I'm gonna make with this chicken, I will put that as a link below in the top comment, but I'm gonna go make that up real quick and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna shape it into a big foot. Okay, I have my crust mix just about ready to go. I shredded up our mozzarella cheese for the top. I got the oven preheating, and we are just about ready for the main part. Now we can set this aside. As you noticed, I have bacon here. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But what we're gonna work on right now could possibly be the most challenging part. I do have parchment paper. We're gonna set that aside for a second. We're gonna use heavy duty Reynolds wrap, and we are going to attempt to shape a foot 
a big foot on this pan right here so that we can put our pizza dough inside that. So let's take out a big long piece. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. <laughs> Spread it out like that for a second so we know the size we're working at. Now you may need to get a picture of a foot, an outline of a foot, so that you know exactly what a foot is shaped like. Because in your mind, you know what a foot is shaped like, but then when you start shaping some tin foil like a foot, it might not exactly work. So let's go ahead and just try this. I'm just gonna start scrunching this. I know a heel is round, and then it comes in a little bit, and then it goes back out, and then it rounds around the toes. Let's go back to the heel over here. All right, this isn't too bad, guys. This is actually working. Because all you really need is just the basic shape of a foot. Okay, so that didn't turn out too bad. In fact, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself because that looks like a big foot. <laughs> okay, now that we have the general shape of the foot, now we are gonna take the parchment paper. Pull out a long piece that's as long as the foot. Place the foot right on top of the parchment paper. And now we need to cut this parchment paper so that it will fit down inside of our foot shape. So I'm just gonna leave it on there and try to cut around the shape of the foot, which is much easier said than done. Here we go, hand in the foot, hold it in place, Kind of frustrating, but it's working. That's how that turned out. And now we gotta see, is it gonna fit? Yeah, that works pretty good. It actually sits right down in to the shape of the foot there. So that worked out pretty good, even though the shape of the foot on the parchment paper is a little bit bigger than the foot itself. But you can see how well that sits down inside there. Now you might be able to just use the tin foil itself if you sprayed it really good with some non-stick spray. But I don't want to take that chance, that's why I like the parchment paper. Now we're going to take our dough and we're going to put it right inside our foot shape. Just be careful when you're spreading it out that you don't smash your foot shape. So that turned out pretty decent, guys. Check it out, that is our pizza dough inside our homemade Bigfoot pizza pan. Now, if you're using regular pizza dough, you can just go ahead and put on your sauce and your cheese and whatever toppings you want. For myself, I'm making a low carb dough, so I need to put this in the oven first, and then I'll put my toppings on. But we'll come back to that in just a second. Don't cut out yet, because the best part is coming. So while our crust is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the bacon. Now, the reason we need bacon, guys, is because we need toenails on our Bigfoot pizza. Now you could probably just use pepperonis. They're already sliced, they're easy to place, one on each toe, and they would look like toenails. I don't have any pepperoni, <laughs> so I have to improvise. I'm gonna take a couple slices of bacon, which is falling apart, and I'm gonna put it on some parchment paper here, and we're gonna bake it in the oven. When our crust comes out, we'll stick that in. So we'll take our pizza out and put the bacon in. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cool. I am so excited about our Bigfoot pizza. <laughs> so now we're gonna put the toppings on. We're gonna start with our sauce, Spread that around really good. Then we're gonna put our cheese on. And then we're gonna put some yellow cheddar cheese along the top of the toes where we're gonna put our toenails. That way when we put our bacon on, it'll look even more like toes. It'll look like grungy Bigfoot toes. <laughs> I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Italian seasoning on here just to give it a little bit more of that pizza taste. This was such a good idea, guys. I love making awesome snacks that tie in with the movies we're watching. So like I said before, you guys can make whatever kind of pizza you want. You can put whatever toppings you want on. I'm strictly making a bacon pizza today, but I only want to see the big pieces of bacon up here on the top on the toes so they look like toenails. 
So I'm just gonna take some regular bacon bits and sprinkle them throughout the rest of the pizza here. That way we get bacon all over the pizza instead of just the toes. All right, our bacon is out. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on some paper towel here to soak up the extra grease and let it crisp up a little bit. But I'm gonna leave the oven on at 350 because this is gonna have to go back in there for a few minutes to melt the cheese. Okay, that is pretty good. Let's bring our pizza back over here and we are gonna create some toenails. Oh, yeah, that's nice and crunchy right there. So let's see, we got five toes, two, three, move them around a little bit here, four and five. So there's our toenails. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. <laughs> So there it is at the moment. Now I gotta stick this back in the oven for just about five minutes, just long enough to melt that cheese. And then I'm gonna show you the final Bigfoot pizza. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe we pulled off flawlessly making an awesome Bigfoot pizza for Harry and the Hendersons movie night. Look at that thing. Delicious bacon pizza, mozzarella cheese on this part, cheddar cheese at the top on the toes to make them look grungy, and big old jagged toenails. <laughs> this is definitely a pizza Harry would be proud of. And there it is in all its glory. Bigfoot pizza for Harry and the Hendersons movie night. Look at that, it looks so small behind me there in the video. <laughs> all right guys, I'm gonna go freshen up, get my pillows and my blankets and my jammies on, get some pizza, get some Bigfoot pizza, and we are gonna go watch Harry and the Hendersons. Make sure you guys subscribe, give me a thumbs up and a comment below, and let me know if you make Bigfoot pizza yourself.